Hey everybody, welcome to the Deep Dive Show. My name is Mpomo Tauriro. I'll go with the show is to bring you and I in proximity to the people and ideas that will show us that it is possible and it can be done and eventually help us achieve on our dreams and on our goals. Today, we have a special, special guest. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know we have in the building. This man wears many hats, but just name a few. He's a finance, he's a finance professional, he's a trainer, he's an author, He's a podcaster and he's the MD of Ignite World Services. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcome to the show, Mr. Siata Pandu Ratsos. Welcome to the show, my brother. Uh, thank you so much. Er, thank you so much for coming through. Um, you do such an amazing, amazing work. But um, <clears throat> I, have a, I, have, I have so much that I want to ask you. I don't even know how we're going to fit it into the short time, but I want us to dive straight into the meat. Um, we're living in, a, for lack of a better word, an awkward time financially or economically. Um, can you just, in your own expert opinion, walk us through what's going on right now uh, economically in Botswana, in the world? Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think just to clarify what is happening today um, or this during this period, um, it's nothing new really to us. If you, um, you know, follow history, you'll realize that events like this have happened in the past. Um, there have been um, way greater depressions um, than maybe the one that we are faced with now. Mm. Um, there's been world wars, um, you know, there have been, um, you know, 2008, there was that yeah. depression, yeah, real estate. Um, so it has been happening for, for so many years. The thing that people need to always, um, you know, um, remember is that history always repeats, right? So if you don't want to get shocked, just study what has been happening in the past 100, 200 years. You will realize that every now and then something like that is coming. So yes. every time when we are um, speaking about um, finances or um, economic turmoil happening, I mean, you know, for us, it's never really a shock. Every time when you see real estate going way up, you know that at some point it's going to it's be going go down. down, right? Yes. When you see, um, you know, interest rates going way down, you know that at some point they'll be going up. So um, this this trend is always going to be happening. It's, it's really markets correcting themselves. But eventually everyone is going to be fine. It's just going to get better. We just need to hold on and know that, uh, you know, tomorrow... Tomorrow is going yeah. to get better, yeah. That's, so it's that's basically good. a cycle. Yeah. All right. So, would you say we are in a recession right now? Yeah, I think, I think, I think, in a way, we are. Even though it hasn't been um, pronounced um, mm. like that, but um, I think in a way we are because um, we've seen, um, you know, um, record um, inflation rates um, yeah. way over. Um, what most central banks had, um, you know, targeted in Botswana, mm. um, we we hit fourteen, um, you know, but uh, our, our our target is between mm. three and six, <laughs> you know, it's it's that bad. We've never seen European countries, you know, fighting. We know that, um, you know, they, we we look up to them for, for for peace and democracy and all of those things. Yeah. But now they are fighting, and the countries which are fighting are countries which actually, um, you know, control. Uh, most of the, the main resources that we depend on, mm. fuel, um, you know, wheat and, oil. and, and, and mm. all of those things, Ukraine and Russia. So, um, so it's, really, it's really, really bad. A lot of countries are feeling the pinch. So we might say it's a depression because most countries, not just, um, you know, developing African countries, mm. um, but also developed countries are also, uh, are also are feeling that. So, so we, we might say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting scared, man. <laughs> because I remember in 2008, I was in standard, standard five, six day. Yeah, yeah, and I would yeah. always hear my parents. Hey, more recessioning, more recessioning. So now yeah. that you're saying it now, it's really hitting home for me. Yeah. You know? um, so for people right now, Bailongkore are listening to us talk about this and that you are saying that, you know, we might likely be in a recession. Because I mean, if you look at the markets also, they've been down for two quarters yeah. like in a row. Yeah. In Lukoko Mahatinga say like there's been, you know, crazy inflation. Yeah. What can we do now? Can people make money out of inflation, out of recession? Can people build wealth in recession? Yeah. So so uh, wealth is it's it's built everywhere. Um mm -hmm. it doesn't matter whether there's a recession. Um, whether your markets are doing good or bad. I mean, mm. take an example, Yaku Zimbabwe, right? Mm. Um, the, the, the billionaires in Zim, 
<laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. True. Um, and we know the situation of Zim, um, what has been happening to Zim for a very long time. Mm. But we know that there are a lot of guys there who are making a lot of money driving true. fancy cars and staying in a, in expensive homes. Um, it just depends on which side of the of the of the of the of the economy you are at, right? Are you mm-hmm. doing manufacturing? Um, what type of manufacturing are, are you doing, right? Are you into retail? Are you into financial services, right? So because uh, for 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 any country, when events like this um, happen, they affect one or two industries. Mm. It could be main industries, right? Mm. Um, but the other industries they start to boom when that happens, right? Yeah. So people who are always prepared and 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 they're always following markets, they're always following what is happening. Um, they're always ready for the shifts. So for instance, if you look at um, what was happening during COVID, right? A lot of companies shut down. A lot of industries shut down because um, there were not necessities, right? The luxury, um, you know, uh, the type of industries, they went down, right? Diamonds were not selling and and stuff like that. Luxury automobiles, even clothes. I mean, people didn't feel the need to buy expensive clothes. But when you go to the food sector, the food sector started to boom, right? Um, even though uh, that one is always doing well, but it, it was going way up. Mm. Um, you look at um, um, uh, um, tech. Mm. Um, tech yeah. was starting to boom yeah. because companies now, like Zoom and Microsoft. Yeah, we were only connecting yeah. um, via 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 technology because So so there's always that shift. So good investors at the time when they saw these moves, they anticipated that. If this happens, this is what is probably going to happen. Rona, mm. but we are not looking at the opportunities to say, okay, but I have um, that hundred thousand ton again. Why don't I take this hundred thousand, invest mudi mudi index in sa sabo 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 apoli and others again, mm. bozumu and others because mm. they might go up yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. But Rona, most of the time, when something like this happens, we try to hold on. But mm. this hundred thousand, yeah. because I get yeah. And then every day you are showing a thousand, I get, yeah. or every month you are showing a thousand. If it happens for hundred days, your money is gone. It's gone. Yeah. So I wanna say So mm. so so you can you can you can make a lot of money during inv- inflation. But what I always um try to advise people, worry. Inflation is a very difficult thing to control. Mm. Very, very difficult, right? A, a lot of, um, you know, uh, you, you know, a lot of countries are failing to to contain inflation. Normally, yeah. Yeah. no, we are we, we are taking measures. Yeah. We are dropping interest rates because I get what the central bank is really doing: dropping interest rates. I believe one or na bahukutsa madia long or adimisiwa. Bahukutsa madia adimisiwa ngora ngori they they suffocate. Uh, the, the the flow of cash in the market and then therefore what our the price if that would similarly drop because that was a requit that good shop oh, okay. then what the rates will go down hey. but netikori um that doesn't always uh, you know khona na mo botswana ha nka re ke botsa motho gore eh bengo botswana ntse go letsa di rate a lemogile bo gabedi gararo um mona ko nyiku tsane hitileng a batho ba imise ga good shop ba gore ka di jo ba gore ka di lwana they have not stopped right yeah. so it's very difficult to control because na ko ngwe tlhela gore it's external factors like tsone di khantsa gore go diregaleng ka fuel when I look at contour la kwa no kakwa eh ko rashia eh rashia ga na go ntsa fuel the demand goes up when the demand goes up or the price of fuel goes up and yeah. then gora it hits us I get. Yeah. but the best way to control inflation ke tsone di khantsa gore how do you control your spending mm. right because there are certain items that you can kick out of your normal spending and yeah. inflation i get high go ronso spend that 3000 pula Suddenly now, three thousand pula can only buy those at two thousand pula. Exactly. Well, well, that's yeah. that's basically what happens. The buying so, power is dead. Exactly. It has it's, it's diminished. It, yeah. It has diminished. You know. Um. So as an individual, if you are not a businessman, um, you are you, you are not big in manipulating markets and stuff like that. All you can do is to say, okay, uh, maybe veggies have been taking. Um, um, up a thousand in my budget. Yeah. Let me take them out so that I can still afford to get all the necessities that I need, and then I can plant. And then I'm not not really affected. Mm-hmm. Well, you are you are balancing it out like that. Mm. But the the best ways um, uh, inflation is really to increase your income. 
<laughs> yeah. Make more money. You need to make more money. <laughs> Thank you. I think it, yeah. I think it's not said enough. I think it's not said enough because yeah. for a lot of people, saving, saving, mm. it, you know, it, it crushes that spirit. It, yeah. it, you know, I'm already not even making money. What am I gonna save? Yeah, it's to make more money. Thank <laughs> you for that. We're gonna pause here for a break. We'll be back with Sata Pando Ratsos. Welcome back, everybody. We're here in the Deep Dive Show with Sata Pandora Tsusa, and we're in Rapid Fire segment now. So I have some few questions that I have to, that I'm going to ask you on Rapid Fire. Today we have six questions, just random questions. Question number one: <clears throat> What's a nickname that your parents used to call you? Panda <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Panda. Panda Panda. Yeah. All right. All right. That was my dad. Yeah. Hey. Is there yeah. another one? The one that you didn't want to be called when your friends are around? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Panda Panda. I think it's only that one. Yeah. They, right. they used to tease me ka, 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 ka Pando, but they didn't know that it's, it was actually a name. That's that your name. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. On a scale of one to 10, how good of a driver are you? Um, I think a good nine. Good nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah, got on a fun. <laughs> uh, well, I, I reserve that that other one because I don't I don't really like to speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but I generally, I, generally, I like. Yeah, I think you don't I'm, get a lot of hits on the way. Ah, uh, no, no. All right. I think I'm really good. Awesome, awesome. Um, what was your first celebrity crush? Uh, uh, Mariah Carey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Oh, interesting, interesting. What did you like about it? Did you like her songs and her music, or? Yeah, hey, she she's really good, eh? Mm. Um, I think for since we were young, you know, you know how how sometimes when you are young, you feel like because she was young when we were young. Yeah, I'm yeah. only realizing now that she's actually much older than us. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. Because we were young then, and she used to be called the youngest, you know. True. And she was so good. The way she'll take those high notes, and, yeah. You know, go down. Yeah. She's, she's just, uh, she's good. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you have you watched have you watched the criminy, the movie? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did. All right, all right. So who was who was at fault in a criminy, according to you? Uh, I I don't think anybody was at fault. Okay. Um, really? Interest. Yeah, because um both of them they 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 they, they really had their own um circumstances going. Uh, you know, they had um they initially had the same vision, but it was yeah. not clear on one side than on the other. Yeah. Um and I think I think because I try to look at it from different angles. So when mm. I when I look at the the lady, yeah. I feel like um she was coming from a family that was giving her a lot of um, pressure, mm. and she feels that um she had contributed so much um to the guy, and she only wanted some support for him to say, okay, look, I'll put the vision a bit here, not forgetting about it, yeah. but I'll also assist here. Yeah. So um she was justified to feel that she was wrong. Yeah, and then the guy was also pushing for the vision, and guys like that, it's very difficult to be with someone yeah. who's highly driven by their vision. It's very, mm. very difficult. Um, you know, he, he reminded me of um, a lot of artists. Being with an artist, it's a challenge because mm. they chase, um, you know, they chase their purpose so much that even when they're struggling, things are really tough. Mm. They still believe at some point I oh, need man. to have. Mm. Um, you know, uh, you know, my record needs to go out there, right? And yeah. until they have made it, they, 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 they can't move away from that vision. So I think the guy, the guy was like that. He was obsessed with his vision, mm. and that's what normally happens with a lot of creators. That's yeah. that's exactly how they are. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that the lady um, didn't understand that um, she was with the net. Yeah. Um, who was going to chase that vision forever? Yeah. And then the guy didn't realize that I'm with a with with a, with a real person who wants real things. Yeah. Um, you know, to to happen for a relationship yeah. to work. Yeah. Hey, that was well put, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was well. I think that was one of the best reviews I've ever heard. <laughs> but um, yeah. To me, I have, I have. If you, if you if I was asking myself that question. Yeah. I would, have, I would have had an interesting answer, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> All right. Um, the next question is, um, what makes you angry? Um. 
uh, that's a that's a that's a tricky one because I uh, I'm hardly ever angry, right? Uh, but I think the, the people who 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 can get me to that point are, are my kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think yeah. they're the only people who who normally get me to that point. Yeah. Um, but mostly when they when they just choose to lie. Uh huh. Um, you know, I, I don't have a problem with someone telling me like the truth. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter because I'm always prepared for the worst, yeah. right? Um, and when they choose to not tell me the truth, it kind of pisses yeah. me off. Yeah. Because I I I I I can get sharp on one because with the lepos, I That's it, But yeah. um, years later, for some reason. They still choose to lie. But you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, do you? The last question on rapid fire. Do you believe in fate? Um. Yeah. I. 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 I kind of do. Um. I kind of do believe in fate, but I also believe that um, there has to be driving factors. That can actually get you there. I believe it can change. Mm. I mean, what you what you what you could have seen, and because normally, um, God will give you a glimpse yeah. of how your future should look like, right? And once you've seen that glimpse, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, you are going to get there. It can shift yeah. depending on the steps you take towards um, that that vision. Yeah. So He shows you as motivation to say, look, um, there's a mansion. Um, you know, there or there's that top position. You're going to be a top man, um, but you need to now start asking questions of how do top men get to be on top? Because if you don't do that, your fate is just going to be shifting, shifting, mm. and shifting. Um, you know, until the unfortunate happens, and mm. then you die without achieving anything. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That was powerful. That's the end of rapid fire. That's the end of rapid fire. Welcome back to the Deep Dive Show, everybody. If you've watched this episode to this point, definitely drop a like and comment below on your biggest takeaway and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, Mr. Ratsosa, we talked about, you know, the state of affairs economically. Um, Yanung, what are some of the things that right now, um, since you're a man in the financial world, people can do to set themselves well? People talk about, you know, cash is king in a recession. This is what, this is what, do this. There's a lot of people advising. There's a lot of noise. Where can people direct that focus to be able to set themselves up so that they don't live another 2008 where they're not ready? Yeah. Er. Yeah. Um, so there's a, there's, a, there's a line that I saw on, on social media, I think, uh, um, you know, a, a, a picture of a, is it, is it a, a, a donkey cart? Um, it was written, um, save money, better girls are coming. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good one. I, I, I looked at that and I was like, you know, you know, um, this is so true because um, every time when we are in a state, right, um, we think um, the best things are today, right? But the best things are always, um, you know, tomorrow, mm -hmm. the next year you know, in years to come. So yeah. it's, it's, it's very critical that um, whatever we are doing now, um, we should be um, saving up for the future. And saving doesn't necessarily mean, um, you know, putting money in a bank, right? Mm. That's, that, that, that's not what we mean. Saving, we mean that um, you need to be preparing for the future. You need to get better in the future. Um, it, should that mean um, you need to improve yourself um, by reading, studying, and generally personal development, right? Mm. Because that personal development is your currency in the future, right? The best currency, it's not the pullers yeah. that you're getting because they can be devalued anytime. Yeah. The best currency is ensuring that um, you know more today, right? Um, so that tomorrow what you know can work for you. If you look at um, the people who are taking advantage now, people who seem to be doing well in business and everything. Mm. These people, they, they, and then, these are mm. people who have been behind the scenes, you mm. know, garnering knowledge, making networks, connecting with people, right? Suddenly now they find themselves a few years later, their friends are ministers, their friends are CEOs and stuff like that. Mm. And they're in the right place, yeah. right? 
The same thing, the reverse can happen if you don't prepare. Your friends will be ministers and presidents and staff, but because you did not prepare, what about Doja? What about Doja? Because yeah. they have no use for you. You did not prepare when you had to prepare. Um, so, uh, you know, for, for, for me, the principle is always um, simple. Um, you need to learn to, to invest for the future, right? And um, someone was just asking me, um, how do you, uh, you know, you know uh, get the discipline in order? Because it's the discipline that always, um, you know, um, shifts our focus, right? To say, I know how to save. I know how to invest, but I'm struggling to get disciplined. And I, I you know, I told him what, uh, you know, your, your, your desire to succeed is on you know, um, um, to be uh, disciplined, it becomes, uh, uh, you know, it becomes mm. natural to you. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. But because the mention that you are driving to. So mm. every time I'm Tantari, I'm struggling with discipline. I can't go to work. I'm not I'm, I'm not motivated or something like that. You feel hell or why? But our that house, house or why you are quite comfortable here. Mm. Um, you know, that car that you are driving, it's a my you are quite comfortable with it. Mm. No, I'm not comfortable with those things. I'm not comfortable with what I'm driving. I, I like it, yeah. right? Like what I'm driving. Um, I like where I'm staying, right? That's where I'm staying. I'm happy, mm. right? But that is not my vision, mm. right? So, um, I get a hundred thousand pula, and then you find me now flying to Cape Town. Because you know, Cape Town should be where I go for breakfast. I get yes, you know, yes. that's going to talk about yeah. Tangoja. So now how to have um a bit of cash or um to get a good job and then it pays me well. How to because that money is only helping me to get to the next level. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well put. So <clears throat> I wanted to kind of like play two scenarios um, and then see how you'd advise people in those, in those, you know, in those categories. Yeah. So one is, um, yeah, I retire. Mm. I'm retired. I'm retiring in two, three, five years. Mm. Uh, or I'm less than five years. I'll be retiring. Let yeah. me put it that way. Yeah. How would you advise me in terms of how I use my money? Because yeah, Honela, maybe 1.5 million. Yeah. We want to have a house. So mm. I can to get 1.5 million all over to yeah. And then now the house is not giving me money. Yeah. And then also I just started a job. Mm. Uh, maybe I'm earning a couple of thousands. Uh, when is the right time to take a mortgage? How do I run around my finances like that? Yeah. Air. Okay. Um, so let's start with the with the with the with the with the person who's just about to retire, that thinking about retirement. The mm. first thing you need to do um is to to know how much you have right now. Mm. Right, your worth. Mm. Um, you need to know how much you have in your pension fund, and what could you possibly start any if you were to retire today, mm -hmm. right? And um, once you know that, then you can um, make the right decisions. A lot of people are thinking about retiring, but they don't even want to look at the money that they are possibly going to retire with, right? Mm. And then, secondly, you need to ask yourself, um, you know, who am I going to be responsible um, to? Once I have retired, is it just mm. me? Am I still going to be able, I'm um, taking care of my grandchildren or my children, right? Mm. Because we come from different, uh, you know, family backgrounds or the dynamics. Or an, yes. Uh, so you need to know that because then that will give you an idea of how much you need to earn to be able to sustain your life um, in reti during retirement, right? Mm. Because retirement is not death. Yeah. Um, you know, people yeah. live for 30 yeah. years yeah. after retirement. You need to plan it properly. Yeah. You know, you can live for the same um, length of time. Mm -hmm. Or even more, yeah. right? So you need to plan it properly. Now, the, the, the lump sum that people get and then are excited and then they build all these big houses, right? That is where they make mistakes. Because you see, Matata uh, Maji, because of the things that you, the products that you introduce to your life, mm. right? Mm. If you buy a Mercedes, you have shifted how you spend altogether. The fact that you bought the Mercedes cash doesn't mean anything. You've bought a luxury car. 
A luxury car means that how a car park a car, that 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 bar, you know, now park a car on it. Yeah. Imudu mo ite zimarudi e cheap. Yeah. Right. Mm. You start to feel for your car, mm. and then because you are feeling for your car, you start going to rhapsodies. How can I get a fix more benzene? Right. <laughs> How can I let you smoke benzene? Right, mm. you start getting um, some 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 nice sneakers, nice shoes, right? Yeah. So it, it changes how you spend, right? Similarly, the houses that we buy, once on a more um, you know a small three bed, like a little right? Now now suddenly you start to have to every room is on sorry, I be in a bathroom area, a double mm. garage, one of the lounge is a bed. It's becoming that big. Mm. Those things they come with expenses. Now the question that you need to ask, or after buying that house, that big house, is your income sufficient to maintain that house? So a lot of people who are retiring, I always um, discourage them to build um, that big because as you get older, you need a bigger garden than a bigger house, mm. right? So mm. you actually need a smaller house which is functional, very nice, you know. Maybe a lounge, a dining, and a kitchen is matter. Ngaba tuwa tili abelo kula yano ka enjoy your space. And then the the next best room it should be your bedroom, right? And your bathroom. You don't need so many rooms because one na ulo one. Kung maybe the maid's quarter at the back, and then you need a very nice garden. Ye longo reta na yo yo relaxis. But what we do, we do the reverse of that. Big house, small garden, and then reports our came back to um the statistic the super kore people after retiring two years is enough they die. Yeah. But a lot of them are retired by about 55, 60. So they die because um, they change um, how they used to live entirely. Mm. So it's a new lifestyle. So don't change your lifestyle. Continue with your lifestyle, but strive more to use the 1.5 million to create other um, income generating, um, you know, um, type of assets. Okay. So that because who manate kana kuma diatse, who manate kama diatse. Awesome. Um, your second question was. Uh, A, a young, a young person. Yeah. I'm I want us about... to, to hold that thought okay. for now. Let's hold this thought for now. We'll continue right after the break with Mr. Sata Ando Ratsos. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Deep Dive Show. We're here with Sata Ando Ratsos. If you have found any value in this episode, like the video. If you like the video, um, before the break, we're talking about. Um, you know how to, you know, the financial how to how to navigate the financial world as a young person starting a uh, you just got a job and you're now making money how to do things right and sell your things well. Eric, can you take us into that? Um, so, you know, as a as a as a young person, you have a lot of time. Hmm. You have too much energy. The last thing you want to do. Um, is to make decisions. So the young people are on a stuck in one place. Mm. Um, you know, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Runa arsimo la kubereka. We 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 wanted to work in gaps, right? Obviously, for for obvious reasons. Um, kabaro na kona ludo zidi manatenga na zidi nzi again. Um, and we actually thought kore madia na wana mukabaro again because of the cars we saw. How you go, bo, ma unko ba kasani? You don't see the same cars, so I want to flourish. Sure. But what is jungle and stuff like that? <laughs> um, but in reality, yeah. um, there are so many different, um, you know, um, sectors of our economy. Mm. Um, so many different economic areas. Say longer they can be, uh, you know, exploited. Mm. So o itere longer a young person o mahaboroni, and then there's an opportunity to go and work. Um, for um, a branch of the, the 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 company that they work for here, and then they feel like nah, I can't I can't go, mm. um, you know. Um, so so kikimu adi posu te longare banana ba di dira right? Because what normally happens as you are growing um, professionally, mm. um, you'll be those who who, who grow faster, right? Um, kibai longare they are they move right? Mm. They move to different areas, they move to different departments, but they they. As they move there, how it's in a way that they conform to what we call makaya, and we don't know what makaya. We are going to learn how how the people behave, see opportunities, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But this is the, the the biggest financial mistake we make, right? Mm. There's this obsession um, to to acquire property when you are young. It's that obsession, and 
I will, I will tell you this, and I'm not saying this because by investing in real estate, people always um, get it wrong when I say that. So, yeah. Um, there's this obsession, Yahore, we need to have properties. What we need is assets, right? A house is not an asset alone, right? It's, it's another type of asset, right? Mm. Cash is an asset, mm. right? Mm. Um, stocks are assets. That's yeah. why I would be a balance sheet. You have cash, you have, you have stocks, you have um, shares in companies, you have property. Mm. It's another asset. But Horuna is a property as an asset. Yeah. But now here's the thing about property. Um, currently, there is no proper discipline, more bananing, mm. in acquiring property, right? Mm. We, we go quickly for a loan to get the property, right? We have not learned the discipline to save, the discipline to invest so that our investments can buy us the properties, right? So, we buy a property now. This is what normally um, a house does to a young person. Also, now I can do a home office too. I bought the we should go Francis Town um, for 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 a job. You have been moved there. Mm. Um, you feel for the property. You remember what I said about um, you know um, products yeah. now defining your life. Yeah, that's exactly what um, real estate can do to a young person. You can't move because you have this house with this big screen with the curriculum. It's in the learning and on a little roasting and so there are two and listen to my pike. Right? <laughs> that lifestyle is for rich people. Yeah. That's yeah. what you do when yeah. you know now that I will never move. This is where I'm going to stay um, for most of my life. Right? Mm. What young people need to be doing is to invest a lot of money. Right? Mm. Put aside a lot of money. Right? Um, have a, a small percentage to take a bit of risks when it comes to investing because, because investment yeah, yeah. platform mm. is different, right? Mm. Um, you need to have a, a, a portfolio depending on your risk appetite. And then you also need to have a portfolio mm. right? Um, if you look at the, this guy, um, 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 he's a young guy, I think he's 18, that boy. Um, I think is uh, is the richest um, 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 crypto investor. Um, mm. You know, you know that boy Wamuro. Mm. Mm. He took a chance. Mm. He took a chance because he had a bit of money. Koskolo. He was mm. not using millions. Mm. He had a bit of money. Koskolo. Um, he bought a, a, a few bitcoins. I get. Mm. And then Abananza observed Abanorokotsa Mayanja. And then it, it, it went well for him. He became a millionaire. I'm not saying everyone is going to become a millionaire, mm. but anyone will worry out of their financial portfolio. They don't have a small portion that they risk. Mm. Those people are less likely going to become. Um, you know, rich. Yeah. You know, financially well off. Yeah. So, so what young people do, they they acquire these assets that they can move away from. Mm. Um, they buy um, brand new cars, right? Um, which are quite expensive. And then your pay slip. Remember your pay slip. It's your greatest, um, um, you know, asset. Mm. Yeah. Um, your pay slip can get you debt, and debt um, is a way of raising capital. And capital can start a business, and yeah. a business can make you money, and yeah. then that money can acquire the car, it can acquire the property. So there's no rush to getting the property. The property needs um to be a result of your other investments. Tell them they are move right. Mm -hmm. Um. So my advice to um to Banana, it's always that um right now you you have the right energies. Um. You know, be obsessed about working. Just be obsessed about working. My dear, how shall my dear? You know, happy my dear. As in Solomon, and I mean, uh, what money are we? Are you chewing read? I mean, my dear, my dear, a capello. It's 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 not real money. Yeah. Yeah. When I look at my dear, you one thing, but um, you know, it it, it requires that um, abu kilowatsa masebaka. You know, making the right sacrifices, moving and learning. I'm mm. um, doing a lot of things until you you get the formula right. Okay. So, do you have any one of those? Um, as you talk about, um you know, not rushing into real estate like yeah, that. Yeah. What can they do as an alternative now? Olomosha, you yeah. have money here. Where should I go? ETFs, stocks, where? How should I, how should I start putting this down? Yeah. I, I hear you say, um, you know, increase your, your, your working capital, your realized income. I yeah. get it. So what are some of those investments? Say, 
rakatsana mo go tsone yeah so so you see we we shouldn't be too obsessed about um trying to trying to invest sometimes putting money away without interest that's the best investment mm. right because remember um the best investment will always be what you know right but when you are young you know less right mm. and hamadian tsatsena because you know less you are going to spend it recklessly sometimes putting it aside right is the best investment you can make because this is what happens like right stop order um yeah so 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 maybe go ngare bua ka 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 bo di formula right um go ngare ka re um um you need to live on um, much much less than what you make i get yeah. um some people will say you need to um you know 80% has to go to those city toilets and then 20% investment and saving right um now i believe 80% is just too much for how le gona o simola eh we should the deposit 80% is too much you can live on 50% i mean if you are earning 10 grand 5 grand is enough as a young person if you are really really learning can I, i can tell that you are not learning by how much you spend mm. every month mm. on entertainment mm. then i know what this person is not growing Mm. Wow, well, mm. because you spend too much there there's no way you are finding more time to grow no way once or again sure um so so the 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 obsession shouldn't be haximola go bereka should be putting money in this investment that investment that is right na ku ngwa weeds when you don't know just put money aside i'll give you an example but to balitso la 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 simozle i get back to me lo ya se isla i get yeah um ga ba dumele mo interest I get oh, it. They don't any interest. Okay. But how come ban na rich? Mm. Basa do me mu interest. Right? They put money aside and they don't want interest for that man. I get. What this is what they know. They know that right now they don't know where opportunities are. So you put cash aside. Opportunities are always attracted to where cash is. Mm. People will come to you. How we so nele experience ya o tshere madi a buipotse re ka ntse ke ngotse tsene ba thoko kopa madi but every day they never ask you for money right true, true, because money has true. that power yeah, right money yeah. has that power so if you set aside enough money that power works for you mm. right the same way if you are not setting aside money the one way long gore they have the power um of a plan that's where your money will be attracted to mm. every month you are going to buy their clothes yeah you are going to buy their food right you are going to buy the alcohol the drinks right because they have made a plan and that plan attracts money from your pocket to their pocket if you can be disciplined and say look right now i don't know what i want to do all i know is that if i have money something will come up right i get you are still young you are still learning you are still growing mm. right you put money aside and then you obsess on working one of the ways to increase your money it's not really to invest we always forget the biggest investment if you invest in yourself the you money. grow mm. and good to grow i love to be rich your money grows yeah. if you are running a business your money will grow i can tell you this as a as a matter of fact right mm. the moment you start developing yourself most money mm. ah my guy more especially when you are in the private sector i have never worked for government I'm yeah. um, so I don't know what happens in government but look at the government thing I know what the a, a lot of young people who have really grown fast much as but what's about to comment I know the young people in government who have actually grown fast mm. you grow so fast right um that my dear long or no I let's or no feel or turn to why dear or on a business you will end that money at work if you grow yourself but now when we forget that personal development i better now obsess the more no let me take this money let me go and invest in this but with the investment the guys investments can be sophisticated they need you yeah. to study them they need time yeah. right and they take time mm. so how some tsole munye with the you don't really have that time right mm. warren buffett has the time mm. he reads financial journals every day he mm. studies the markets everything because that's what he does mm. he's old like that yeah. but when how le monan are you going to spend a lot of time um reading journals like what is happening now yeah young people are working in different corporations but they spend the whole day um you know trying to read the market so that they can do forex mm. chances are you are only going to grow when you go forexing you can't grow with the wrong 
Yeah. Because you are not giving it an effort. Yeah. But how are we going to tell you that you are actually going to double your salary in a short space of time? But for forexing, it's probably taking you more time and you are losing mm. a, a, a lot of money in the process, right? Mm. Um, but I, I never recommend the type of investment that people need to uh, Um, okay. um investing as a as a as a principle um yeah 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 yeah, yeah investment advisory right mm. we don't recommend yeah um what we what we do is we gauge people's um risk appetites yeah and then once we have established that risk appetite then we can say okay um how much are you willing to lose mm. if you say um i want to make money but i don't want to lose any money then we know that person cannot go to stocks <laughs> yeah they cannot do real estate yeah they cannot do um cryptocurrencies they can't yeah. do forex whatever um they can only do maybe a fixed deposit mm. because they don't want to lose money right sure. so we 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 don't judge by how much money you want to make we judge by how much money you are willing to lose mm. if i give you 100000 or if you earn 100000 now mm. and you want to invest money with me and i tell you um but tomorrow this money might be wiped out and you say no 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 i can't do that right then i know um hore your risk appetite is very very low if you are mm. saying ah maybe i'm going to lose that 20000 that'll be fine then i know or we can buy some secure stocks then and there i get mm. um, we can do some real estate there and there but if you are saying look i don't want to lose nothing mm. even if it means what it dire 1000 day on top Mm. that's what i want then mm. we'll recommend safe investments like a fixed deposit the, mm. um um you know the money market in 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 with unit trusts um and stuff like that awesome that's why we'll probably put awesome. the money but we 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 don't we don't recommend for for anyone mm. then you're talking about the work you're doing the work you're doing at ignite wealth yeah awesome yeah. awesome now i wanted us to talk about the psychology of money why do we use the money the way we use it mm. what what's behind that because i think that's critical yeah. because people a lot of people can go for years we mm. you know you probably have a friend or you have a relative hankana le madi wa mogala madi a mantsi me ha tsana go go ene hankana le madi kana o tla le gore motho leng gore gongwe ke um is earning a low paying job mm. but they always have money to to do stuff yeah. what informs the way we use our money yeah um it's it's a it's a it's it's the power of the plan mm. um you need to have a plan anyone who doesn't have a plan loses money mm. and everyone who has a plan um they keep money right um so i get so re hapula ena eh la pala ga go lele ha ileng gore go aela ya right um gefens mm. um pula haena most of the time ya tsana mo jarteng ya na ger e tsana mo mabatini simala le tsenga di thawele ka ta sga mabati ya na right you only remember when it's rainy for mm. you le sontso re le ba kanye and then ba bangwe to ba tswala kontha ile gore maybe the 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 e move at that metse le man start o mota ba tswala ko nte ya go ga marokwana bo le epa ya ana ka digarawe ya ana gore e move le meet to the other side right um we've seen that so many times yeah. here it is the same with money right um so um a, a smart person um before it rains they know korban na go ntseng ya what they will do they will do some some trenches mm. uh, maybe outside the yard Uh, but the but the epasmati uh, abe but the cementella so that when this water comes at the end of the trenching about some iron maybe I'll buy the um some pond so that this water a guy who receive all from that pond so that when it dries up now they can, can take water. from the pond or but when urban no say it's it's someone who knows what it's going to rain right every eight rains and when it rains because kaya on zingyan this is what normally happens so that by develop those trenches right now. With money is the same, right? Madia na ba ta part hela ka meet. If money starts to rain because it does for everywhere, right? At mm. some point the money comes in. Again, yeah. it could be allowance, it could be um a, a salary, it could be um business um income, right? Mm. Money comes at some point. Ga yeah. itele le gore you don't have those trenches. Those trenches would be your plan where you are going to channel the money when the money comes you will never know how much rain is going to come mm. again mm. the same way you will never know how much money is going to come 
So you prepare the trenches. That is the plan, I get. Mm. So that when the money starts coming in, you know, you know exactly where you are going to channel it, I get. And then you know where that money is going to stop and mm. you know how you are going to be able to collect that money. If you mm. fail to make a plan, right? Right, a move a cattle and sinjal, right? I check to a cohon and le plane, the hunger plana, plane mo neighbor in yaha. Your neighbor mm. knows how to collect your money. <laughs> you see, because who did le plane? And it led the plane a honza haba sabari, non poa bear a quam halagadica. Yaw will in Pogadigana a five days before this. I'm so that I can start a planting in his head the smell of my cakes and stuff like that. The moment to Amrel, that's the first thing you think about. Hey. You go to the neighbor, you give them money. They take your money, they give you a piece of cake. Every regular, regular ingredients are then 10 pull, right? Mm. That's your money gone, right? We lose money because we don't have a plan. Mm. But um, coming to the psychology, most of um, what we do and how we behave is born from how we were raised, what we saw growing up. Um, you know, in my book, uh, Masheling, yes. I, was, I, was, I, I wrote about a story, uh, my story how I grew up. Um, you know, I was raised by uh, middle-income parents. Bearing And then mid month you don't get that excitement. Mm. Right? Yes. Um, you know, when these things are happening, you don't realize what these things are doing to you. And then every day, harash skolum. Um, and then you are given five pula, one pula. Mm. You go to school. Um, we have to work with roto or work with guinea lily soup. How we are made to boa? We have to make the following day. We are happy. The following day we are happy, and that is happening every day. Mm. So what 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 gets um you know um uh, planted in your mind? You are no. My dear son, so I do a hell. Yeah. <laughs> you see, hey. and you are young. You don't realize this. No, not about being young. Yeah. Right. They, they, don't, they don't even know where they got that from. Mm. But most of us, we got that from and And then you start getting your allowance, you chow your allowance uh, before uh, it's the same thing that is going to happen when you start working. I get mm. the same thing that is going to happen when you start a business, right? My dear, one million watts, and you chow the one million because you know there's another job that you are doing. We meet the one million, I think. So it's 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 how we grew up mostly. But for us to um unlearn all of those things, it will take a lot of learning. We need to read, we need to study, we need to attend seminars and hear conversations around money every day, all the time, until it starts clouding your your, your brain now and everything that you grew up knowing. Irrelevant, right? But it takes time. A lot of people think they will read one magic book and then they change how they behave. Um, trust me, uh, the behavior at some point, the I like how behave and got them until you address that. Um, it's, it's you know, you are never going to, um, you know, you progress well in life. Mm. Mm. Elaborately put, yeah. well put. Um, my last question to you is how do you want to be remembered as Seattle, Pandoratus? Um, that's a tough one. <laughs> I, actually, I actually never thought of it, but I think, I think the best way um, I would want to be remembered um, is, the, is the impact that I have made in helping people to find that purpose. Um, that's 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 really what drives me because mm. I feel what everyone is lost mm. until they find what God has called them to do. Mm. Um, and for me, uh, my calling has been, I do finance, but my calling is counseling, mm. right? Um, I've been called to counsel. I counsel, I speak to people. Um, that's really what I love to do. So I can do that in any other area. I can do that um, in doing social counseling, um, doing financial counseling. So it's only that I have uh, a professional discipline in, in, in finance. So I would really want to be remembered um, in, in, in impacting people to, to find that purpose. Awesome. 
Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sata Pandora Tusa. I hope you guys loved what he has just given us as much as we have. Definitely like the video and comment below on your biggest takeaway and subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, we'll meet same time, same place next week. Be great.